Hey, this is Demon Driver, back again with more of the A300 build. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing what I call taping the fuselage. I use packing tape, all right, pull it out, cut the jagged ends from the, um, from the cutter strip on the tape, and then what you do is, I don't know if you can see the, uh, see it applied over the, um, over the dip run, but I place the packing tape, clear packing tape over the dip run. That way you can either paint the uh, fuselage and the uh, tape protects the dip run and all the foam on the fuselage from paint because a lot of paint has um, acid in it and it eats into foam and destroys it. Uh, also, I put tape over the fuselage to strengthen the fuselage and to also just kind of I don't know, just make it a little bit more uh, sound. And then also I take, you know, I'm going to chrome, this is going to be an American Airlines A300, so chrome is going to go over uh, the tape. And um, I think chrome will stick, you know, the chrome monocoat, monocoat sticks great to plastic and balsa. It doesn't really stick good to foam. Um, you can use ultra coat. But I don't like Ultra Coat Chrome. I just don't like the finish. I don't think it's as good as the Monocoat Chrome. But Ultra Coat is better straight on foam. So, like with the wings, I'm going to use Ultra Coat. Aluminum Ultra Coat straight on the wings. No tape. On fuselage tape, but Monocoat Chrome. And then I'll use um, gray, light gray, like here on the, uh, on the rudder. And the uh, and the tail, and on the A300 American, from here back is gray because it's carbon fiber. It's not aluminum and titanium like the rest of the fuselage here. It's going to be chrome like that. From here, from about there forward, all chrome. And then the very nose of the A300 again is carbon. I think it's fiberglass. The ray dome. That'll be light great, and then just above the the windshield of the cockpit or flight deck is going to be gray. Everything else will be chrome. Okay, this is more A300 build coming up. Stay tuned. Bye.